this song. This song kind of like shows a whole different side of me. I um, I just wanna feel you I was up late one night, and uh, like Nala goes to sleep early, like a motherfucker. So she's up late anytime. That's like a treat for me. But she's she was asleep, and. Uh, I just started thinking and I was like, damn bro, I know like she understands that you work really hard at what you're trying to do and like you really have like a hard drive for what you're trying to do. But like I know somewhere in there there's like this person that's like, damn it, like be here, you know, and just be here right now. And I was just trying to like take on her perspective so the song is actually like me writing a letter to myself but it's from her and so cause like she did like often at times she she jokes about it and like she 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 it's crazy she doesn't even complain about it but like she's told people man he works so hard sometimes and it's like she's bragging on me she's like oh he works so hard so sometimes that like i just he'll fall asleep and i'll just lay with him and that'll be the time that we spent together that day and like that's fucking amazing to me that she understands it that much but like i don't want her to ever feel like i don't appreciate how great she is and so I was like, I get it, babe. I want to like let you know that that I I I know that you you deserve your time as well. And it's hard. It's a balance. The balance is difficult because I love her and I love music. And as much as music takes to 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 do and do only, you know, like as much as it takes to do that, it, it's it's a lot of work that goes into it, but. The understanding is so crazy. It's it's like that's why I call her Nala. Um, like I know that that's a different song, but like like Nala and Simba, they didn't fight over petty shit. Like she was pissed because the motherfucker didn't want to be a king. You know, it wasn't because he was looking at other girls or whatever. Like it was literally because. He didn't want to be a king and that's the kind of woman you need when you're trying to do the thing I'm trying to do. You need a woman that's going to say like, dude, stop fucking hiding yourself. You're too great. Come back and be a king. And like, I don't know. It's, it's, so this song is like in appreciation to her, a letter to myself to remind myself while I am in the midst of this chasing this dream and, and hunting down this beast that I'm trying to hunt down, like, it's a reminder to myself to remember, to, to show her that I appreciate her, to buy her her tulips, you know, like, it's a reminder to myself to do that. And uh, I think a lot of times that's where, where guys mess up, we forget to, to to do that that thing you forget that she likes to um, but it's not even it's not a difficult song it's um I can't remember the chorus off the top of my head I'll have to go home and I still have an unpack for my show um but I'm gonna go home and unpack and I'm gonna figure it out I can't I'm gonna have to teach myself how to play it again cause I haven't played it in a while um but I don't know, this song just has a lot of meaning for me. It's in and and I didn't want to take the the take that I did original I didn't want to take that original take out even though it was flawed because I was fucking emotional trying to sing it. Um so I just used pitch corrector like a mug, like turned that shit all the way up and um just left it. So it's like I don't know, now it just, I don't know, it has that emotion still in it to me. I know it might not to just the person listening to it, but to me, I can still hear my emotion in it without having to redo it. I didn't want to do this emotionless take singing the song over, but that's, um, 
pretty much how I, what I was thinking as I was writing. I wish you loved me.